What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy ZanYT, and I'm back again with another lit video, man. You already know what it is. All right, so as y'all can tell by the title, man, today I'm going to be actually measuring my height. So a lot of people in my comment section, y'all been flooding the comments. You're not 5'3". He not really 5'3". How can he be 5'3"? And I'm 6'1", and I can't touch rim. So today, we're going to officially measure my height. So I can prove to y'all once and for all that I'm really 5'3". Kind of windy. Today I'm going to be, in addition to recording my height, I'm going to get a little jump session in. I finally got my tripod so I can come out here by myself and record. So yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I found out today that 70 something percent of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. Do me a huge favor, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, man, let's blow up. 7K on the way. We almost there. Next is 10K. Then, you know, we're going up from there. So yeah, man, without further ado, let's get to the video. So what I got with me today, bow, yeah, yeah. All right, I know it's not the, the tape measure that everybody's used to, but it's what I got at the house. It's the only thing I could find. So as you can see, it has inches all the way up to 10 feet, right? 120 inches, that's 10 feet. So basically, so basically what I'm about to do you see the, the one inch starts there so I can put this silver piece under my foot. So I'm gonna put that under my foot. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna measure how tall I am. I'm gonna lean against the pole so you know I'm not slouching or anything. So you can see I'm standing straight up and stuff. But yeah, man, without further ado, let's get it. There we go. See that 64 inches right it was a little bit under but we could just say 64 inches that's five four so um yeah and that's with my that's with my shoes on so basically i'm about five three ish anyways man so y'all know how tall i am now so let's get into a little jump session but before we do that i brought my little jump rope out it's right there i could Y'all gonna make me go get it? Alright, I'm gonna go get it. Huh. And so I got my jump rope here. Nice and handy jump rope. So before, I would encourage you, before you go into a jump session or whatever you want to do, I would encourage you to jump rope or at least jog. I mean, jump roping helps a lot when you're trying to increase your vertical and stuff like that. But yeah, so I jump rope for at least five minutes. I try to get a sweat going. And then I stretch. I do that before I stretch to get my muscles relaxed and stuff because you don't want to stretch when your muscles are very tense and stuff. So you want to warm up first, then stretch, and then I'll go into my jump session. I'll probably get some shots up too. Who knows? But uh, yeah, man. Let's get it. Let's do it. I got it. Yeah. Alright, so now that I've done my warm up, I'm gonna go into my stretch. And uh, yeah, to me, this is the most important part.
All right, man, so now we're going into our jump session. If it's not that I'm not 5'3", they're going to say the goal is not 10 feet. Man, I, I would have brought the tennis ball, but I couldn't find it. So we got to do what we got to do. Uh, it's kind of confusing to me because I jump left, right, and I try to grab it with my left hand, but I'm right-handed. But I've been doing this all my life, so I need to change it to a right, left, and then uh, grab it in my right hand. But that's gonna come in the future. I guess we gotta do it with my left hand, so. I can get higher. Ah. On the positive side of this, at least I'm touching rim consistently every time I jump. Ah! That's why I hate jumping outside. It's so much like, there's not enough traction. You can slip easily. If I was inside, man, this would be so, e so much easier. But no excuses. We're going after it. All right, now we're gonna change to a one hand takeoff. I mean, a one foot takeoff. Uh, I'm not that good at it, but we're gonna practice. That's what that's what practice is for. So we're gonna practice our one foot takeoff with my right hand. Yeah, now I'm getting really winded, and that's the downside of like coming out here, trying to jump to your max potential. <sighs> you get tired easily. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch to, we're gonna try to throw some lobs with the ball and uh, see if, how high we can get. Maybe even get a dunk for you guys. So yeah, let's get it. See, I almost slipped. I was getting frustrated. I had to go without the ball to remind myself that I can do it. Sometimes you got to do it. I mean, you know you're going to get frustrated. Well, at least I do. I know how I am. So I know if something doesn't go my way, I'll get frustrated. But I'm learning to have more patience with myself. That's key, that's a key value right there. I'm definitely losing like how high I jump right now because I'm kind of getting winded. So, what well, I'm thinking, we're gonna try to go up the rim one more time without the ball. And uh, if I get it, then that'll be the end of the video. Well, when I get it, because I will get it before I leave. Man, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I started bleeding under my nail. We don't give up. It's all in your head. Y'all get out here and jump. Man, until next time, ZMYT, I'm out.